guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new then welcome um, if you haven't already then come over here to hit the red subscribe button also if you could go ahead and like this video when you finish watching that would be really appreciated so I just want to get straight into this video no here no there I just want to get straight in obviously I am now 21 weeks pregnant which it's gone so fast I don't feel 21 weeks pregnant I feel like I'm still 12 weeks pregnant and still like oh can I tell you yet <laughs> um, honestly it's going super fast I'm loving every second but it is really speeding up <laughs> if you watched my last uh, pregnancy update which was my 20 week pregnancy update then you will know that I did say about not doing weekly updates but I've decided to do weekly updates because I feel like I will want to look back at these updates um, because I'm currently like I'm wishing that I did it with Chase where I did it like literally every week because I miss not being able to like I'm not able to go back on and have a look um, so I will do weekly updates now uh, because I just want to be able to go look at it myself but also you guys, if you're if you're pregnant alongside me in like roughly the same weeks, then you can like look check and to see whether or not we are the same or whether or not like you have different symptoms to me or I have different symptoms to you. Um, and it's just really interesting to see week by week the changes in what's happening. So I did write down in my notes some um, pregnancy symptoms that I've been having in the last like seven days. I you can quite clearly see there is like red marks all over my face like can you see all this yes you can <laughs> um yeah that's from the pregnancy I've even got it around my nose like it's just all over and obviously I don't wear makeup so not like I wear mascara but I don't wear like foundation or anything like that so it's so noticeable and I can't hide it like I could go out and buy some like concealer or something First off, I don't know how to use it, and secondly, I don't want to add stuff to my face and then make all this worse. Like, I'd rather it just get over and done with. Um, so yeah, these have happened in the last, I'd say, five days. Um, it is 100% pregnancy related. I remember getting a little bit with Chase's pregnancy, but not as much probably. Like, it's not as, this is worse, obviously people have it worse than this, but this is worse for me than it was with Chase. But as you can see, this baby is completely taking the glow from me. Um, I just, it's terrible. Um, <laughs> But I also don't really care because I've, ne I've never been a person to care about what I look like, ever. Like, I really don't care. Like, I will go outside in, like, really rubbish tracky bottoms, my slippers and a jumper. I don't, it doesn't matter to me what people think. So, to me, this is nothing. It's just a bit of red blemish, as you like to call it. <laughs> so, another symptom is the fact that, well, it's not really a symptom, like, I don't really know what you call it, but I said in my last update that my appetite hasn't really increased if anything it had decreased it is increasing i'm honestly so hungry all the time now it's ridiculous like since saying that i didn't have like a increased appetite i'm now 100 percent increasing that appetite every day i just i could eat a whole meal so for instance a whole big breakfast whole big lunch or a whole big dinner and straight afterwards i'm still hungry it's a bit ridiculous so I will eat like for instance the other night I had like a fish pie I ate the whole of it and I had the same portion as Tom if you don't know who Tom is that is my partner and he eats a lot like he's a grown man many a lot don't they like he's 25 well 26 actually soon but they eat a lot and I had the same portion as him ate it all minus a bit of fish because there was too much fish in it for me um and then I ate three quarters of a pavlova that said it serves six. I ate three quarters of a pavlova. Honestly, I'm as amazed as you probably are watching this, but I was just still so hungry. If there was like leftover fish pie, then I would have eaten that, but there wasn't really much in there other than like, it was mostly fish. Like I like the sauce and the potato, like mm, I thought that was really good. But yeah, so, I've basically been eating a lot more obviously I try not to and I try to go more for like fruit and stuff 
But sometimes like a quick snack is just there and wanting you. Um, a minute ago I ate a whole pack of Jaffa Cakes after my lunch, like I had a big lunch. I'm eating so much. I do really want to like keep an eye on what I'm eating because I don't want to put too much weight on. As you can see I'm already getting like the little double chin. Um, I got that with Chase as well when I was pregnant with him. So I'm just kind of used to that. I just get a double chin. It doesn't bother me. I don't care. Um, but my, I just, I, throughout this pregnancy I just want to let my body tell me if I'm hungry or not. Like I don't, I don't snack unless my body's telling me I'm hungry. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm not just going to, right now for instance, I'm not hungry. My body's not telling me I'm hungry. I'm not just going to go and get a bag of crisps or something. I want my body to tell me if and when it's hungry and I, then that's when I'll like decide whether or not I need to eat or not depending how hungry I am. But um, I also want to just mention the fact that I haven't exercised at all in this pregnancy. I highly wish I had, but I feel like I'm too far in now to start exercising. I'm going to mention it to my midwife because I really want to start. Like I want to just do a few like stretches and stuff, which I think is fine to do. Like I'm not going to go on obviously like a five mile run um, because I, <laughs> I would not be able to do that. But I will mention it to my midwife that I'm thinking of starting to exercise again because um, I just, I th it makes me feel better when I'm exercising. Like I'm not really much of an exercise person anymore. Like when I, back in school, um, when I was like under 16, I used to do so much like gymnastics, dance, netball, like all of this kind of stuff. And now I don't do anything. Obviously I walk and I'm on my feet quite a lot. But that's not the same as properly having an hour of exercise. Um, and now Chase is at preschool, my son, my two year old son, he's at preschool now for three hours each day, Monday to Friday. So like I have an hour at least in that to do some form of exercise. Um, so I really want to get started on that, but we'll see whether or not that actually happens. Obviously I'll update you in my next update. So if you did watch my last video, then you'll know that I have obviously felt the baby move a lot. Um, in the last week, he or she has been moving so much. Like, I will be just laying there, sat there, whatever, and he or she is literally just rolling, kicking, punching the lot. Um, it's as though they're trying to get out, and it's like, hello, it's way too early for that. <laughs> but yeah, so I've been feeling him or her move so, so much, um, and it's literally the best part of pregnancy, I think. <coughs> My dad is ringing me. <laughs> Hello. So something else I haven't quite mentioned, I don't think, um, is that is that I get so angry so easily. Um, that's been throughout like my entire pregnancy. I feel as though the first trimester was worse um, with the anger and like it's just not it's not like full on like anger, but as in it's it's like I can't just listen to somebody I just straight away like go at them like no <laughs> um mostly Tom obviously he's my partner I feel like that's just like the main thing like people when they get angry they go straight for the person they love the most in a way like obviously I love Chase as well but you know what I mean I'm not gonna have a go at Chase um so yeah um that is something that has been happening I feel like it's not as bad now, um, it's kind of chilling out a bit more, but you never know. It could always come back at any point. <laughs> Another symptom is that I am forever thirsty, like I just want like a pint of a cold drink. I really do want some ice actually for my drinks. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make some ice put some water in the cubes and pop it in the freezer. I'm definitely gonna do that. So my boobs have been getting bigger. Yes, you heard it, my boobers. Um, they are definitely getting bigger. So in a, like for instance, I have a bra that I bought when I had big boobs and then they deflated somewhere, they went. Um, but now that bra fits again. <laughs> which is weird, like, it's like, no, not even fits. My boobs are too big for that bra now. Um, and me and Tom were like discussing it the other day because I had it on and I was about to get dressed into my pajamas. And I looked at them and I was like, damn, they're big. I was like, Tom, do they look, like, they don't fit in this 
anymore and he said yeah they don't fit they do not fit in that bra they're literally overflowing in every direction um they're not like massive boobs i don't have humongous boobs but they're big uh than usual um which is quite funny but i don't want to buy any like uh what do you call them maternity bras or anything yet because my boobs are only going to get bigger if what happened with when i had chase if that happens again no bra fits at all like I remember when I gave birth to him and I have a photo but I'm not going to insert it because it has his biological dad in it. But um, that photo you can see like, obviously you can't see my boobs, but you can see like the top part of them and you can see how humongous they are. They hurt a lot at that point as well and obviously that was like the day out. No, that was like the night I had Chase, the morning after maybe, I don't really know, maybe that he was like a 24 hours old. Um, but if that happens again then... I won't be wearing bras, I'll just be wearing tops basically. At the moment I wear a sports bra. Can you see this? Sports bra. Um, but obviously I can't wear that forever. It's not it supports your boobs, but not how I want them to be supported. And I also don't look sexy in a sports bra. Um on to the topic of a home birth. So I do want a home birth still. I don't know if I mentioned that. Did I mention that? I'm pretty sure I did at some point. But yeah, so I do want a home birth, however, the thought of it does scare me because you then don't have, like, everything that you might need in a, an emergency. Um, and obviously I don't want to risk anything. My midwife has said that, like, I'm low risk so it's fine, but you never know what's going to happen. Like, I was low risk with Chase and then he, he got stuck and they had to use forceps and... I was like this close to having a c-section so you never know um and that worries me but that's again I'm going to talk to my midwife about because I do really want to do a home birth I think so I think I need to start thinking about it now um and obviously you have to buy certain stuff for that so therefore I will buy it if I need it um my next door neighbour to my mum she was going to have a home birth she ended up not having a home birth because um I can't actually remember why. I think the baby just came too quick. Oh, I don't, I don't, I can't remember, but she has all the stuff. So I might just buy it off of her, to be honest. Um, I'm like, hey, how are you doing? Can I buy you stuff? Um, rather than like buying it brand new and stuff, like obviously I'll pay her. But yeah, so I need to like know what I need to get and stuff as well, because what you need for a home birth is completely different to what you need for a hospital it's 100% different but I'm really hoping a home birth goes well like I, I do want one I want a pool birth at home so um, I wanted a pool birth with Chase but I wasn't able to do that because I got induced but I'm not getting induced this time 100% no I am naturally going into this labour and naturally coming out of it <laughs> whether or not that's with a bit of help with your gas and air and stuff that doesn't bother me if I need a bit of help I need a bit of help However, I do want to try my hardest to um, go through this um, experience differently to what I did with Chase because I feel like I didn't experience it how I wanted to. So it was a lot more traumatic with Chase in a way, but not. Like, I don't really think of birth because if you think too much into it, you're not going to like the thought of it. And then you're just going to scare yourself and it's just pointless. But... I look forward to birth, like I enjoyed my birth with Chase, like I wish that I could experience that like all the time because it was just so lovely and like such a monumental moment and I can't wait for Tom to experience that, it's exciting. But I think that is all for this video, if I've missed anything off that you guys want to know about then please just comment down below or message me on Instagram or anything, um, I don't really look at Snapchat much but Instagram is my go-to social media. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye guys. Abrázame toda la noche, no nos queda mucho tiempo más. No quiero perder lo que queda.